Hey everybody, this is M Peoples. This is the first time I met an albino person. This was in high school, I was in journalism class. And my teacher was a white lady. <laughs> Blonde hair, blue eyes, and she was skinny and pregnant. Now, I didn't know she was albino by looking at her. I never met that many albinos. I'm not mostly a social person. And I overheard a couple of girls say that she was albino. And that her eyes was kind of moving back and forth like this. Me, I was shocked. I'm like, she's albino? I just thought she was really, really pale. But did I care? No. We're all people. She was actually a good teacher. One of my most like teachers. She's actually pleasant. Me, I don't care what color you are. It's what's in here that counts. I'm sick of racism. And Martin Luther King fought for us to be equals. To be one big happy family. Unfortunately, that's a slow process. I mean, Martin Luther King would not be happy how we are today, but he'd be very happy that a black man was president. And don't say mixed president, he's legally black. 116th black, you're black. And what are the cops going to see Obama as when they pull him over? A black man. And technically we are, we black people, we're all mixed. And some white people have some black in them. We're, and when I say mixed, I mean put us against a, a genuine African person with an African American person and see who is blacker the African or the black American now, there's beautiful albinos out there good albinos unfortunately due to ignorance they're being killed in foreign countries for their body parts. Which is why America is practically safe for albino people. Well, more safer. You get bullied, but at least you're not getting murdered, as far as I know. There's a one a black albino model, Diana or something, Diane. I, I, I don't know her work personally. But she's very attractive. Me, I don't really care if she's albino or not. Me, I can't really tell if a black person who's light, really, really light skinned or albino. I saw my first black albino person for the first time on a bus going to school. That's a little girl. How I know she's black? albino her features and she was with I think her great aunt or grandmother she was a cute little girl and what I saw is just a cute little girl she was very adorable me I want kids one day but I don't care if my kids are albino me, I take precautions. I tell them that the world can be cruel. Kids can be cruel. I'm the type who put sunscreen in their lotion because, you know, pale skin. I'll tell them that no matter what you look like, I will always love you. And there's times where. Uh, yeah, I can be a little insensitive, but I'm not good at breaking bad news. 
which is why I would be a bad nurse and doctor. I would tell my kids that they were black or black albino. I love you no matter what. You are black, queen, or king. Don't let anybody tell you what you can or cannot do. If you want something, you get it. You will make me proud one day. Even if you let me down, you will make me proud. I will love you no matter what. And I will always be with you. Even if I get hit by a truck or go in a coma, I will always love you. And me, don't let anybody judge you by the color of your skin. Ju let them judge you for what's in here and here. Not for what you look like. Don't let anybody talk down to you. Even me. Don't let anybody tell you what you can't do. Even me. And don't make the same mistakes I made. Anyway, this is M People's Like. Comment, subscribe, and share. Tell me what you guys think. This is.